Oh, let's get into a little serious topic now. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm going to be talking about, and let me make sure, because I, I don't want to mess up in this discussion. I don't no, want to do say find the Neverland, because that's the last thing you want to do right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey. Everybody wanted to meet Michael or be with Michael. And then he likes you. Now that we got all that out the way, let's get to the real show. DTMerch.com. That's what go. they want to see. They don't want to hear about us, Martin. <laughs> they don't want to hear about Michael Jackson. <laughs> they want to hear about that nice merchandise that you can get, like that classic black tee with that white logo. Also, them hoodies, the, the phone covers. We got the, 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 the gift of choice. You support with your subscriptions, your donations. Can't do these live streams without, without you. So please continue that if you can. Toronto coming up very well not excuse me not very soon coming up in may 25th get your tickets now on eventbrite just type in double toasted live in toronto or you can go to the site we have it on the front page there the documentary on hbo they say the, the very very controversial and disturbing documentary about michael jackson and the it, what we know right now in this documentary the two accusers who've come out to say that they were uh, sexually abused. You know, this is after they went through Neverland Ranch with, without any notice. Just, you know, uh, went, to, went through his closets, went yeah, through his, his safe, went through his cameras, computers, everything. At that point, it was not, it's not hard to think that, no, they have nothing on Michael Jackson. You know, especially when Michael Jackson came out and said everything. They, they t you know, they, they, they took pictures of my genitalia mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and other things. And, uh, you know, I, 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 this, this was uh, humiliating. You know, after testimony like that from somebody who made us so happy, combined with the fact that we don't want to believe that Michael Jackson, who brought us such happiness in the world and in our lives, uh, some people say that he is a childhood. You know, we don't want to believe that. Mm -hmm. But some people are watching this, and they are saying, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying, you know, I ain't really made a judgment yet, but I'm just saying that it gives you something to think mm -hmm. about. Uh, it, it, it's, it's disturbing, it's graphic, but it's at least worth a look, even if you just watch part of it, because it is very long. It's a four-hour long documentary, and I watched all of it today. Split up in two parts. Split up in two parts, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how they showed it at Sundance, which is where this whole thing blew up, and the controversy got bigger. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer for... Ne uh, I see, I almost, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> leaving just, Neverland. Maybe just say Neverland. <laughs> yeah, never, yeah, Neverland. I could be like Billy, uh, leaving Nevermind. <laughs> <laughs> There's no thoughts of this is wrong or anything like that. He told me if they ever found out what we were doing, he and I would go to jail. The accusers, as many of you have heard at this point, uh, is James Safechuck and wade robson and the documentary now let's just take the the very controversial subject matter out of it and see it as a documentary uh it is structured well uh because it really does catch you off guard at first it's 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 because when you're watching it for the first time it's, it's almost like watching willy wonka mm -hmm. because they take you know they set it up like michael came down for special people and brought them to this wondrous, magical, larger than life place. And he became our friends. And then he raped me. And then, wait, what? <laughs> like, well, I've been, I, was, I was having a really good time for this last 30 yeah. minutes. It really is like watching a pro Michael Jackson yeah. documentary. Yeah. yeah. If like, if you cut it off before, like, after 30 minutes, you would cut off and be like, wow, Michael Jackson did great things with these kids, man. <laughs> it, yeah, man, it, it, you really, it's the same Michael that we all want to buy into. Mm hmm. They get a, they do a good job of making you forget what you're watching. Yeah, no, it, it did a fantastic job, you know, to a point where it's like, man, this is some bullshit. What these what these people talking about? They're sitting here praising this man, and you're, and you're waiting to uh, see what they're talking about. You're almost like Corey said, you're ready to turn this shit off until they casually, casually just says, hey, and he uh, raped me. It's like, whoa, what? Yeah, yeah. Rewind that. What did, what did he say? Yeah. And from Wait that minute, point let's, on, we, we, I missed the magic ticket in the chocolate. Yeah. And, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like you're on a roller coaster. Yeah. And it's uh, going up, up, up. You're like, this isn't that bad. It's not that high. And then, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I want to get off. <laughs> you know, they, 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 you're looking at Michael with this, and they, they do make you ask questions. I mean, look, we did a video before where we looked at the accusations mm -hmm. of one of the uh, accusers, and one of the, the, and you know, it's the one that was really catching the, the most hell from people. You know, this is because he, this, uh, this guy was the one that seemed to have the most doubtful things in his accusations are things that you would question the most. We're talking about Ray, Wade Robson. We did a big thing about Wade Robson and talked about, all right, look, we're not saying that he's lying or anything, but there's a lot of things that, that need to be addressed here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like money being involved. Mm -hmm. uh, the years where he was praising Michael Jackson. Yep. The whole thing with Michael Jackson, again, being acquitted and the circumstances surrounding that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bit of it that you don't want to believe this. Wade Robson, we went in through this whole thing. You just talked about, you know, bit by bit, what could be wrong. Mm -hmm with his stories. Uh, but now this documentary turns that around and it says, all right, now you've questioned the accusers. You have to question Michael here. True. Mm -hmm. and, and because with what you see, there is a, when you see the behavior of Michael Jackson, I mean, we always defend it by saying that he was a guy that didn't ne never had a child. child. We keep hearing that. Never, right, never right. Had a child but that that goes that. only so far. Yeah. Cause, cause I always, I've heard that as a defense and always. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of people who don't get to have childhoods and they don't do all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and no, and, 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 and plus, when we're talking about, we're talking about Wade Robson as somebody who you question, but it's really hard. And again, I'm not saying one way or other whether this guy's right or wrong, whether he's lying or not. But when you get to James Safechuck, man, he is so sincere, mm -hmm. with, or he seems to so sincere yeah. with what he's saying. And he really doesn't, unlike, unlike Wade, you don't, you don't see what the gain is for him here, right? Mm, right. That's the, like, like he has really, he really has more to lose. Yeah, him, he does. You see him tell his story, and he uh, not saying Wade Robson isn't sincere because I don't know. We need to, be, and you know, we just need to be very careful how we talk about this. You know, seeing how all these different accusations from different people are coming up, mm -hmm. and you know, we don't mm -hmm. know. But from looking at the story and the way the documentary is structured, uh, Safe Chuck, what's his name? What's his name? James, James Safe Chuck. Safe Chuck. You know, his story and the way you know he's he's conveying everything is very compelling. Yeah. You really feel for what he's saying. You want, you almost want to believe him. And, and, you, know? you know, I mean, he could be crazy and just could believe be. in his own. You know, he could be psychotic and just believe yeah. in his own words. But you, his mannerisms and everything, they seem sincere and they yeah. seem genuine. It's just mm -hmm. something about his body language that does not seem like an act at all. You mm -hmm. know, it's nothing, nothing about him that seems like a performance. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not again not making any kind of accusations myself, but just you know, looking at it, you can't, you can't help but be like, man, I. I don't know what this guy has to, mm -hmm. to gain from lying. Uh, but, the, you know, the biggest questions that they get into and put in, in, in a, and I think for me, put me in a different frame of mind mm -hmm. because I was saying, uh, we talked about this last week, uh, I was saying that I would never let my child, I believe deep in my heart, I would never let my mm -hmm. child do the things that the parents let Michael Jackson do with their kids. I mean, before we even get into any kind of sexual mm -hmm. allega allegations, we're talking about letting just uh, letting a grown man take your, your your kid and sleep with them in a bed mm -hmm. with un unsupervised with you or when you're not around. Yeah. Not, not only that, just the, just letting your child going with uh, an adult that you just met for three hours, right? And then saying, "Okay, you you kids ride with me, and your parents will ride back there in well, a, in a separate car." That that whole well, you're you're famous, so I feel like I know you. Right. It's like. Man, you don't. And these are your kids. This is most, your most precious resource. Mm -hmm. You don't. You know, and, and, yeah. and, and see, and that's what a lot of people say. That's your, your main job to protect your kid. And nobody's going to, no, no one is going to, if you have sense and you're a responsible parent, let let a stranger, no matter how rich and famous he is, right. take your child, the, the number one priority in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where they get to like these, uh, these parents right here, Joy Robson and Stephanie Safechuck. Like Joy Robson said, no, I would never, ever let anybody touch my child unless you pay the right price <laughs> i mean my, Damn. my child what's the price tag on my kid right <laughs> look in the blue book see what the value yeah. for this. <laughs> and that's what you think you you look at these women uh of course uh joy robson is wade robson's mother stephanie safechuck is, is james safechuck's mother uh you as much as you like to believe in your mind that you would not put your child in that position this for some people will put them in the frame of mind that uh, unless you were in the hands of somebody who is a master manipulator, because first of all, they probably believe in what they're saying themselves. I'm talking about Michael Jackson and they have enough 
money and power mm -hmm. to go in and just kind because this is what Mike, if, you know, if you go by this and by what they're saying, M Michael Jackson, uh, he went in and he lured the parents in first. Mm -hmm. He became family. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's what that's what uh, James Safechuck says in an interview in C on CBS This Morning. And he says, you know, Michael's priority in the beginning is to groom your parents. Mm -hmm. You know, once you get the parents' trust, then it ain't none for them to hand over the kids. I had a lot of questions about how the behavior of your mothers the in parents, particular. Yeah. The parents, parents are groomed, though. The parents are groomed? Ooh, the parents are groomed as well. I mean, you know, you can believe this uh, if you want to or not. I'm like, I'm not again not saying either or, but there, there, you know, some of the stories that happened before, like uh, 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 Stephanie Safechuck, who's on the left right here, she said Michael Jackson was not just a celebrity anymore. He was not just a, a, a somebody who who was c uh, uh, kind to my child. He became my surrogate son. Right. <laughs> And, you know, it was like a sitcom. Yeah, yeah. My 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 black weirdo son. You know, that's a ninety six. Yeah, it's a ninety sitcom, man. You can see that on Fox at yeah. the time. Yeah, <laughs> he would come over and stay the night with yeah. them at their place, so they could feel comfortable with him with the child. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, he was a mastermind manipulator. You know, if you go by what they're telling you here, that's a, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it well, I mean, <laughs> long con. It, it yeah. it's a lot of work. Yes and no. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, Michael, I, you do get the feeling that Michael Jackson really did have trouble, you know, socializing with people. Right. But when he found a family that he liked, I really do believe like it was it was part, you know, it could be part manipulation, but also in his mind, he really did like these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I but, guess if you say there's 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 talking and family dinners, it had to be different than what he grew up with. That, you know, you think about that too. Yeah. Right. There was there was a I imagine sort of a solace in having a, a, a normality to mm -hmm. to some of this too. You know, it, uh, it, part of that was manipulation. And part of that was uh, in really enjoying a sense of family. Yeah. He, they talked about that too, real quick. Just seeing, um, I forgot it was uh, 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 Chuck uh, good, James was, Chape, Safe Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, I think when no, yeah, when it came to his house. Uh, she, the, the, my, the mother, pretty much said that you know it was it was comforting for him to see how a regular family would work because mm -hmm. him being such a superstar, he wasn't able to you know go grocery shopping and sit down and have dinners. There's always people around wanting something from him. Half of it is just truly weird, mm -hmm. and the other half is truly kind of sweet. Right. <laughs> you know right. I mean, yeah. he's, he's calling up, giggling, and saying hello. And you see this, uh, you see this other side of Mike. This one of the thing about this documentary is that it's. W w Regardless of what you think of him, you're seeing another side of him that you hadn't really seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, just to touch on that, because you when you see Michael Jackson, you see him, you know, with the with the, the thriller jacket on, you mm. see him with the, the superhuman pose, lights everywhere, shades yeah, and everything. Yeah. But then you see him in pajamas in regular people's houses. Those pictures look like it's Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so surreal. It looked like they bought a wax dummy of Michael yeah. Jackson <laughs> and put it in that living room. Yeah. <laughs> like you would call up James and be like, hey, Applehead, hey, yeah. doo-doo head. <laughs> Just wanted to say Merry Christmas. I miss you and yeah. miss the, miss mom and you know it, it, it yeah. was it was it was it was disturbing. But yet it's like if it really was something like if we didn't have this doubt at all in our mind mm -hmm. that Michael Jackson was doing something wrong, it would be like this is this is weird. But weird but sweet. But 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 it's yeah it's tender uh -huh. to but a point to right a, because yeah. now it's a case where he would call the family and want to speak to one of the boys and they would be on the phone for like six hours. Oh, Straight, yeah. yeah, and it's like, okay, what the hell you guys talking about for six hours? Yeah, man, <laughs> you know that's when it gets kind of like, well, and and, yeah. and let me see what y'all talking about. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I, I got to go to class. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know you don't. <laughs> I'll teach you I, everything. I'm every teacher now. <laughs> see him gym class, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew we couldn't get away. I knew, Almost I knew made we it. couldn't Almost. get away. We tried. We, we tried. <laughs> For myself, where things get doubtful with the accusers is with somebody like Joy, uh, Joy, Joy Robson, Wade's mom. Uh, you know, unlike. Unlike James's mom, who seems just at first kind of starstruck and then just taken in by, we've adopt, we truly have adopted mm -hmm. this guy. We're not gonna get rid of him. <laughs> so yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, just we just uh, adopted a, a, pastry, uh, a, a, a stray superstar. You know, <laughs> can't take it back yeah, to the just, animal they, shelter. They fed Michael once. <laughs> 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 and he's still on the porch. <laughs> 
he's not leaving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, shit. Yeah, invite used, him in. I know. I used the hose on him and everything. He ain't going nowhere. She, you, it's hard to tell at some points if, if, if Michael Jackson stopped everything with them and she continued to chase Michael Jackson mm-hmm. for for uh, her own purposes, mm-hmm. you know, for somehow she, she took stage mom to a, to another level. Yeah. So it's hard to tell if Michael Jackson really did invite them. I say, hey, you know, yeah, if you come out to L.A., maybe I'll call. And they just took it as, oh, let's go to L.A. Michael yeah. Jackson invited us because they go there. There's a story with her where they talk about we. So we went there. Michael Jackson got an apartment, uh, apartment for us, which, by the way, was a shitty apartment. Mm-hmm. Like, if Michael Jackson really likes you. He won't do that. You know, he'll get you something nice. Mm-hmm. He put them in a Stewart Hotel. <laughs> 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 and, 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 you know, it's like, and, and it's, it's not that bad, but it was just kind of like, it was kinda just kind of like this low rent apartment. Uh-huh. And then when she went there to like us to, to, to say, hey, uh, can we get upgraded? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, no, you can even get that far because she went up there to say, like, yeah, Michael Jackson said that he uh, paid for everything. And I'm like, uh, well, you didn't hear that. You need to give us a credit card. <laughs> yeah. So it, it seemed like maybe they were chasing Michael. And it was also, so the, this whole thing about at what point were they trying to get Michael's attention when Michael was, you know, you know, another weird thing with him when he was like switching kids. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that was that was weird to me to me too. Just the fact that you know Michael was clearly done with Wade Robson it scene, and yeah. from how she's telling it, yeah, it's, it was a case where it's like you know yeah, we're going to we're going to go to Michael. And to yeah, the point where yeah. it messed up her, her marriage, too. Because yeah. Because it was an ultimatum at okay, that point. Okay, so I was like, where are the fathers in I all this? The, drove those, they drove them crazy. Yeah. Like one dad. Literally. Just, like, yeah, yeah, like one dad. Uh, I won't spoil anything here mm. for you if you see it. But yeah, uh, one father just could not stop uh, Joy from seeing Michael, man. Yeah. She, she, like she was Obsessed. chasing him. He was begging his family to stay. Uh, it ruined the family. And then... Uh, 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 Samantha uh, James Chuck, I mean, uh, Safe Chuck, uh, she was, she just said, Yeah, my husband and I are still together, but we sleep in separate rooms. Yeah. And because mm-hmm. it's almost like it, if you want to read between the lines and maybe try to, try to predict something, he's like, Look, I ain't, I don't, I don't want a divorce, but I can't deal with your crazy ass. Yeah. <laughs> right. You yeah. know, I don't want you in the same bed with me. <laughs> I'm telling what you do when you wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> you, know? you keep seeing things in different contexts. Uh, there was that interview when Wade was a kid. Uh, they had gotten to L.A. and they, to the point where they, they were there so long, they lost their accents except for mom. Uh-huh. Uh, the shit, they, they turned to Wiggers when they, they started talking black. <laughs> and we saw this before where Joy was, uh, was, was trying to justify every weird thing mm-hmm. about Michael. And at, at this point, it's, it's, it says, you're saying, do you hear how weird this is? And But she's there's something about her where she is infatuated and starstruck to the point where None of this seems, it, all of this seems normal to her now. I've been there when uh, the, these kids have been in Michael's room. I've been there with them. It's just party time. They play so hard, they fall asleep. Yeah, I bet they do. And, yeah. and, and, and there was a whole lot of resentment. And this is where, this is where testimonies start like, coming in from like, two different sources where they seem the same. Uh-huh. This is where it gets weird because they said, and there's some resentment. You don't know how much resentment plays into maybe what the you know the accusations that they're putting in there, but so they were saying you know, uh, like once they reach once they reach a certain age, Michael needed a fresh one. <laughs> you know that's what things like Macaulay Culkin came in because mm-hmm. they said they would bring it almost like Michael wanted to rub it in. Like they they would, Michael would invite them. Michael would invite them to hang out just to kind of show them, like, this is you. <laughs> this is the new you. <laughs> you know? See that? You're done. <laughs> he would treat them like ex-girlfriends or boyfriends, yeah, ex-lovers. He would, he would yeah. just, he would just, he would, he would like ignore them. He bring, he would bring them around just to purposely ignore them, to almost rub it in, to like just say, to, to just to let, let them see for themselves, you're done. You know, and that also puts another spin onto, you know, these guys' story. You know, is it a case because Michael got into their head so much, you know, they still talking about I love him. Yeah. You know, now is it a case when they got upstage? Now is a case where yeah, I'm gonna show you, bitch. You don't, yeah. You don't do this to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. Now that now yeah, that yeah. clouds in your head now. Right. Wow. Right, they right. do this because they were replaced uh-huh. because they loved him so much. You know. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's it's a case where Michael, you know, allegedly, if you're going by this again, he did a mind fuck to that those families for life, unless. They took a big risk, and they called each other or met each other and worked mm. their stories out mm. together. They would describe the same thing that Michael liked, man, mm-hmm. and, it, and, it, and it gets graphic. Yeah, 
it gets so graphic, you feel like you breaking the law watching this. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's almost yeah. like you feel like you watching child porn. Yeah. Yeah. Because they go into it. Yeah. And, and, and the things that they describe with Michael, like him having porn, the parts of the body that he liked, mm -hmm. certain things that he did. And what he liked being done to him yeah. as he did those things and the different positions that he would tell them to, to do, to do certain things. Yeah. It was very methodical the way, you know, they explained it and what it was. And they both had the same story. And so yeah, like, and, and listen, maybe down the line we'll find out that these guys were in cahoots and they got the stories together. But mm -hmm. that's a, that's a huge risk to do, you know. We didn't question Michael because we love Michael, mm -hmm. and Michael had the celebrity to get away with what he did. Yeah. But as I said last time, you know, when when you when you when you buying uh, pedal fuel in bulk, you know, <laughs> yeah. you buying you buying cakes and candy and games and movies, you know that anybody else would be like, hey, come here, man. Yeah. <laughs> he got his pedophile yeah. startup yeah. back. What, what, what is all this yeah, for? Yeah. Hey, what, what are you doing? What are you, yeah, well, I mean, he, that that receipt would get you in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> whether Michael did or not, and whether we want to believe it or not, yeah, at one point you got to say you do understand why some of this is. You're to blame. Yeah, you're you know, right. you brought this on yourself because mm -hmm. this is this is the, the, no man. Anybody else would have had somebody, even somebody who had half the money that Michael Jackson did. They would have had, they would have had a PR person mm. come in and tell them, uh, a manager, somebody yeah, say, like, I'm, I, either you control yourself yeah. and quit having these goddamn slumber parties, or I quit. Yeah, it's 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 heartbreaking, man, because you see the things that start out so innocent, and now you got a question: Did he? Yeah, was this a setup, man? The doc. Oh. Looking for me? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing butt naked. <laughs> 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 well, that noise is just from him making movements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's some locks here, too. <laughs> you have uh, uh, the documentary does know how to uh, humanize the subjects. They know they can't mm -hmm. go in and just have them accusing things and whatnot. You know, they go right. think because you're thinking four hours long. I can't take that. Four hours long. Like, even because even my wife was watching some of this and she started crying. She's like, these people are so cruel. I can't take this anymore. And she ran. She ran out. She was like, how could you guys watch this? They almost like like we would touch yeah. the kids. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Top of their charts. They talk about them. They talk about them uh, growing up to be parents. Mm -hmm. That's where you really start questioning the motives of these guys as to as to why they would do something like this mm -hmm. because why would they get so to get as graphic as they did mm -hmm. to, to to tell the the, the the to go into detail like they did they would have to be sick people to do that man if they would just made up you mean if it was just made up yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they, they would they, if they just made it up then right. going to details they did they would have to they would be they would be terrible people i feel i feel bad for them whether their, their lives or not i i feel bad for them that that they they clearly went through some shit, especially with their parents and their, right. their family life. Mm -hmm. That would make that it would that would bend them. Some. It would, yeah, mm -hmm. it would. You make a great point. Yeah, you make a great point. You would hope again. You're hoping, just if, like you would if hope. If you're that, a normal, healthy person, you go like, yeah. Why would somebody? No one would do that. Mm -hmm. But if you're not, sometimes those things occur to you, and you don't. But have the again, same kind of feeling. yeah, you know, you're hoping because it's like just like you hope Michael Jackson might be innocent. You hope that these guys aren't lying because. They have children now. Sure, their families are involved, and you sure. don't want to. You, you just don't want to see the people uh, sink this this low into depravity that they mm -hmm. would do something like this. So yeah. you're in a weird position with it, man. You are, but then you hear again. You hear the uh, the parents of these kids talk, and you see how into it they are. Now, who's not to say? You know, their impression impregnates uh, mm -hmm. uh, imprints on them being so young. So now it's a case where, well, my mom is loving this guy like this. I think I should as well. So that. That oh, fucks yeah. up your psyche as well. Exactly. So yeah. she's she's stricken with such guilt mm -hmm. because uh, Wade Robson says that he gets a, he 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 gets along with her right now. And I'll, you know, I put it back on this interview that they did on CBS this morning uh, when they're talking about this. Um, well, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, no, what's I, up? I'm thinking about the um, Safe Chuck mom because she oh, seemed the one that was more, more pro. She Michael. just said straight up, "I'm glad he's dead." Yeah, because oh. he, she said, I'm glad that he mm -hmm. can't do this to anybody else. Wade mm -hmm. Robson, he, uh, they, he couldn't stand his mother. In fact, the family, the whole family, family. Still, the whole family, the family the, couldn't stand the mother. Yeah, the whole family I think is against him. He, he says he's good with her now. Yeah. Yes, my relationship with my mother has grown immensely over the last six years or so. You can say maybe they were groomed by the parents to do things, and that's what I, that's what I was getting. 
towards you know the mm -hmm. fact that you know who knows what the, the mothers were saying. But when but the thing is, the, the mothers were groomed to tell this for their benefit, right? It, you know, it, it, this woman feels guilt. The family don't you know they for a while. I don't know what it is now, but one one that guy they interviewed right now, he's like, I can't really. I love my mother, but I can't I can't bring myself to really forgive her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Wade has said that he was estranged from his mother. They have, he has a sister. They don't want to, for a while, they don't want to bring the kids around the mother. And the mother has never said anything unless she just doesn't want to admit to a lie. She's never been, you know, she's never defended herself. She's right. never, uh, she's never come out to say anything different other than she's, she just straight up said, I fucked up as a parent. Mm -hmm. So uh, too often somebody said something. And if you, you say the question, well, why would they lie? Cause, cause you are, if you're a person who doesn't lie, it's hard to imagine. Why mm -hmm. would somebody just lie? But if you're not that healthy person, it's not that big of a stretch for you. And some people, it comes natural. But why or, or would you? Yeah. Sometimes even the negative attention, they they they'll they'll take that. If you see how negative it is for this family, it would be. And you could be right. I'm saying maybe. I'm not saying definitely. To the extent that it, because it's at this point, they're not saying that you know Wade is destroying the family. Or I've done it. They mm -hmm. said, look, I'm to blame, but Michael really did come in and just. He 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 tore our family apart sure. with mm -hmm. the with with the way he worked on all of us. Of it. course, and really, what you I mean? And, and before I, be, I go into like winding this down, I, I would say, as far as the documentary itself, if you're looking for any yeah. kind of spectacular filmmaking, or anything, no. you know, it's it's not m most of this. You know what I'm saying? Most of it is is testimony and be in, in, in old video. Yeah. And the new footage is nothing but like they got a drone and just flew over cities. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm when people talk about L.A. They just flying over L.A. The Hollywood <laughs> sign, and, you know. So it's a lot of man. It you can. You should sit down and count the number of aerial shots yeah, that they have in the movie. A lot of the same ones, too. I yeah. <laughs> it's but almost like padding, in a way. B-roll the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of it that kind of drags a bit. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, silences. Mm -hmm. A lot of them repeating themselves about certain things. Yeah. So you can see how they stretched it out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you're interested in uh, this case and, you know, you have doubts about Michael and you have doubts about these guys accusing him, I think it's worth uh, watching. Just yeah, to try to get some sort of perspective on it. So, yeah, so you won't get of, an answer, but yeah, to sum it up, like you, said, you won't get an answer because to sum it up, is mm -hmm. there doubt? Yeah. Yes, well. yes. I mean, it's, I hate to say it, but yes, there is. There, there is doubt. Yeah, uh, on both parts, uh, and it's too bad because Michael Jackson is not here to defend himself. And that's the big thing, but too, he's right? left yeah. a legacy of questions. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he left that in his did. will for all of us. You know? uh, it's 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 something that you have. To, you, you you no matter if he's gone or not, he left a lot of questions that you have to look at hard. But you know, just like when you question the accusers, you have to question him, man. Even at even at his at his most innocent, his he had disturbing behavior. You know, that the we also have to like question ourselves in this. You know, sure. do we have mm -hmm. we have to sit back and say how much really, how much is celebrity driving us to make our judgments mm -hmm. here? Because you do I mean I, it's a he said, he said situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's unfortunately that's how it is, man, because it's yeah. not enough proof on either side to Unlike uh, 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 you know uh, Cosby R. Kelly and, and, those guys. and Harvey and you know and Kelly you know mm -hmm. uh, 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 we don't have the thing where they had numerous accusers who yeah. came out. We got two right here. Yeah, there's no smoking gun for Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, R. Kelly, you know he, his smoking gun was the tape and the fact that he yeah. married Aaliyah when she was 15. Yeah, yeah. This, that's that's crazy right there. I don't think people should be looking at the accusers with hate. I don't no, think they should right, be looking no, at no, them right. angry, like getting online talking about die. Yeah, we still right, crazy. Is that right what people there. are doing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You, I mean, listen. Maybe they're telling the truth or not. And if they are, they disturb people themselves. It's just a sad case all around. Mm -hmm, no yeah. one should be getting online and throwing vitriol at them right. just because you love Michael Jackson. Because of the unfortunate thing that there's some one thing we can walk away with this is that human beings are hardwired to be to 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 to, uh, to worship things that are larger than us mm -hmm. you know we're hardwired to to worship celebrity or things that are larger than us to a disturbing level man mm -hmm. I, you know like i said i've never been I've, you know man I say never but I'm, I'm not that kind of person so even when michael jackson cried i sat down and had a sensible cry Sure. You know, it's like mm -hmm. tear came yeah, out. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's like throwing oh, themselves man, down it's, on the floor. No, <laughs> it was. This is yeah. sad. It, it sucks. I, you know, spent my childhood where he, where he made me happy, and he died in a, in a shitty way. Yep, mm -hmm. I had one tear kind of well up right here, came down. I was just like, oh man. Yeah, I remember Michael Jackson and all mm -hmm. the memories. I wasn't like this. I don't know who to believe or who to trust right now. 
I just want to know what's happening. Oh, shut the fuck up. You know, because you didn't know him. Oh, yeah, you didn't know, you didn't know Michael Jackson. All these people, because they show video, you know, video footage of people, one dude in the middle of the street. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, God, you know what you're going to do? You're going get to your, get your ass up and be a fucking man and go to work. Radio stations are like, I'm not playing Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, until people start complaining. <laughs> you know, We're going to do it for three months. Yeah, people, you know, people can, you know, they, they, they can kind of cherry pick things that they want to get yeah. rid of Michael Jackson on, like, uh, that 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 Simpsons episode where it was just Michael Jackson's voice. The Simpsons like, oh, we can't have Gotta that pull there. That. Who is this? I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I'm Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson? Pff, no way. It's true. I'm with your father in a mental institution. Uh huh. And is Elvis with you? He could be. It's a big hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's it's. They're not. They say they pulled that man. Yeah. Uh, and and that's a that's a. a, a uh, the episode is that's Michael Jackson's voice. They don't have a picture of him. It's uh, a, a mental patient who thinks he's Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. talking. It's a big old uh, hairy white dude. Well, wait, they, <laughs> they had what five thousand episodes. They pulled this one. Yeah, yeah they pulled, don't notice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Is it enough to go in and at this point pull his music? There's a cloud over, dark cloud over, definitely. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, after all the you know things that Michael Jackson Jackson has given us, are we going to be able to pull all of this? You know, this is not really? this is not going to go away. You know, and, and, and Michael Jackson, you ain't pulling Michael Jackson from existence. No, he ain't going yeah. nowhere. I you know, like and people are like, well, you say that about Roman Polanski. Let me tell you something about Roman Polanski. I watch some of his old shit that he did, like Rosemary's Baby. I'll go back Chinatown. and watch Chinatown. I ain't watching new shit that he does. For, right. You know, from some guy, a guy who ain't never served time for like raping a thirteen year old. I ain't watching right. that shit. I ain't supporting that. Right. Let's just say we had one hundred percent proof that Michael did it. Mm. You still gonna have a bunch of people out there. Uh, uh, at Halloween, mm -hmm. doing a, a, a what do you call those things? Those surprise mobs, a oh, flash. flash you still gonna have a Michael Jackson flash mob going on? <laughs> you ain't getting rid of this shit, man. Damn, so, it, we can, so we can't do the moonwalk no more. It, it is. We done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. You, you talking about the, the, the pedal walk? <laughs> <laughs> He's not making new music, mm -hmm. so it's not uh, like you could. It, it'd be easy to say, "All right, I'm not supporting him anymore," but you got all your old stuff. But. I'd listen to Thriller, thinking like, you know, when he wasn't making an album, he was raping some little kids somewhere. <laughs> you know, this <laughs> just, just like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that way you go like, well, I know that while he was making this, he was he wasn't raping anyone. So I just I can listen to this. <laughs> no, but when he was done, <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna be moral on any, uh, you know, hold moral ground on anybody. But it would be rough for me. Yeah. But you know, but right now when it's we don't know. I'm yeah. like, I don't think there's any re reason to to pull it at this point. Now, if you if you say I can't listen to it, then I'm yeah, no, 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 totally no, understand. No yeah, if you gotta take a break from it, that's fine too. Yeah, you yeah. know, so the, the hard hard stances. I don't know. That's on that's on you at that point, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know, again, it's nothing that we can tell you. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is uh, you you know, if you want to, and it's a rough thing to watch. And we'll yeah. put that in your mind, even if you want to be one of those people who exactly. goes out and, and, and fanatically defends Michael Jackson. I, I have a hard time believing that you couldn't at least for a second think like, hmm. Uh, you have to watch this and make your own judgment yeah. if you watch it at all. It's yeah. it's a rough it's, it's a rough thing, though, man. So it's, the, first, the first half an hour, you you will be saying he ain't do it. Michael ain't do it. <laughs> minute 31. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, cut it off. Yeah. Cut it off after 30 minutes. I mean, nope. you don't, don't, don't wait for the Oompa Loompas to come in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, that do ain't that. happening. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory is not going to be that. So. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I, I Don't you go away yet. Hit the subscribe button. And now you can go. Nope, that. Come back. Check out our main site, doubletoasted.com. Over there, you'll find a longer form version of this video and also the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us at dtmerch.com and stay toasty.